what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about guardian games and i want to give you guys my own thoughts and impressions on the event and also give you a breakdown of how the event works so guardian games is a class competition between the titans warlocks and the hunters your goal is to earn as many medals as possible and bank them into a trophy wall above it you'll notice that there's three unique banners one associated with the hunters the titans and the warlocks by you banking these medals you'll be earning progress towards your corresponding class and ultimately be driving your team towards victory. Now, the event is scheduled to last three weeks, so there's plenty of time for you to jump in at any point and contribute to your class's progress throughout the event. So how do you get started with Guardian Games? First off, when you jump into the tower, you'll notice that Ava Levante is standing right there in the middle for you to talk to. So you're gonna go up to Ava and she's gonna give you a bit of dialogue and she's gonna basically tell you to go and speak to Zavala. Now, when you go to Zavala, Zavala will also give you some dialogue and he will also give you a free class item. This class item is necessary for this event, as while you're wearing it, you'll be generating a new material called laurels. More on that later. After you speak to Zavala, head back to Ava, and Ava Levante is going to give you your first gold medal. Once completed, you're going to head down to the drifter in the tower, and he's going to register you for the event. Now that you've banked your first medal, and you've earned progress for your class, you're going to head back to Ava, and you're going to want to grab some medals and some bounties. Now, keep in mind that the medals are going to vary by different activities, and they're going to rotate on a day-to-day -day basis. These medals will have you taking part in different activities such as Crucible, Gambit, Strikes, Forges, and also the many planetary destinations available in Destiny. There's also a variety of requirements needed to complete each medal, so every single one will not require you to do the same thing. For example, to earn a Forge Gold Medal, you're going to have to kill 300 combatants and complete 5 Forge Ignitions. In another example, to earn a Silver Gambit Medal, you have to earn 200 points. This point system goes back to what I mentioned earlier about creating laurels. Laurels are created when a guardian is wearing the unique class item available during guardian games. These laurels are generated by using your class abilities such as grenades, melees, and also supers. Upon final blows, you'll generate these new items and they can be collected by yourself and other people who are playing with you in a variety of activities as I mentioned, such as Gambit, Crucible, etc. When a guardian of the same class as yourself creates a laurel, that will reward you with three points of progress towards whichever medal that you're working on. If another guardian of a different class creates a laurel, it'll only give you one point of progress. Every single medal does not require you to earn laurels. The requirements do vary, so definitely head into your quest tab and check to see what the requirements are on each medal that you take. Now, in terms of bounty grinding, bounties don't give you any progress towards completion or towards progress during Guardian games. The reason behind doing bounties is to complete the one medal that's associated with them, the Bounty's Gold Medal, and also to complete the Show Your Colors Triumph that's available during Guardian games. Beyond that, I know a lot of people don't like grinding bounties, so hopefully now that you know you don't need to grind bounties to gain any progress in this event, you'll be able to go forward knowing that your main objective is to complete medals. Now, as I've mentioned in many other videos, the point behind any activity in Destiny is about getting loot, and what types of loot can you earn during this event? Now, this is a free event available to all players, and of course, with many other free events in Destiny 2, Eververse does play a part in it. But unlike events in the past, you will be able to earn or purchase rewards, not only by silver, but through Bright Dust. Bungie's made many changes to the Bright Dust system within Destiny 2, and currently the best ways to earn Bright Dust in-game are to complete the bounties from Ava Levante, and also by completing the weekly and repeatable bounties from other vendors like Zavala and Shax. To be honest with you, you probably won't be able to purchase every single item that you see within the store that you want to purchase for Bright Dust if you don't already have a stash saved up, but you should reasonably be able to purchase a few of the items that you do desire. Now, this system is not perfect, and personally, I'd prefer to be able to earn a lot of these items within the game through the various loot pools that are available to you. After your class does complete one day, if you come out on top, you do earn a package from Ava, which rewards you with various loot like upgrade modules, enhancement cores, and other materials and pieces of armor and weapons within the game. Sadly, you can't earn any pieces from the armor set by completing any of these objectives. Hopefully, after the tons of community feedback and the feedback that I've given myself through various avenues such as video and comments and other reddit posts hopefully we can see some type of change come to this loot incentive and these types of loot rewards within these activities that we get throughout the year now the rewards that you can earn in the game are as follows you'll be able to earn one exotic ghost shell per week during this event there are three associated with the hunter titan and warlock class you're not restricted to any ghost shells depending on your class you can earn all three if you complete the weekly quest every single week 
The requirement is just as simple as generating laurels, and there's a variety of different ways for you to do so. Many people have already made guides as to the best ways to generate the most laurels, so I'll link a few of those down below in the description. And lastly, the most sought after item in the event is probably going to have to be the air apparent exotic heavy machine gun. Now, there isn't some secret exotic quest, there isn't some long quest steps that you have to take or complete. Earning this weapon is as simple as completing 7 triumphs during the Guardian Games 2020 event. Now, completing these 7 triumphs is not going to be easy and it will take some time, so do try to take a marathon approach if you're trying to earn this machine gun. If you don't know how to find these triumphs within your tab, head over to the triumphs tab to the left of your character screen, scroll up to where it says seasonal on the top row, Click over to the second page underneath events, and right there at the top you'll find Guardian Games. If you scroll through all of these triumphs, you'll find that each one gives you an objective, and some of them even give you rewards such as shaders and even emblems. So one thing that I did notice when I opened up this tab was that one of my triumphs were actually already completed for me, and this might be a bug. Some of you may have one or two even already completed for you. Just turn them in, and that'll give you progress towards completing the seven triumphs. Now, in terms of which triumphs to actually go for if you're trying to earn the heavy machine gun as fast as possible, I'd recommend going after the Represent Triumph, the Renown Triumph, the Great Deeds Triumph, the Quintuple Threat Triumph, the Guardian Gamble Triumph, and the Show Your Colors Triumph, and the World Class Triumph. Now again, some of this is not going to be guaranteed. I just gave you the ones that I'm going to be going for that I feel like are a little bit easier to get done. And again, a lot of this is grinding objectives to complete medals. Some of it is also grinding objectives to complete bounties. But altogether, hopefully this video helped you guys, and I hope I equipped you with enough knowledge to be able to jump into Guardian Games. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like. Also, if you guys are representing a class, drop it down below. Who are you repping? Warlocks? Hunters? Titans? If you are more interested in some of my more critical videos of Destiny 2, and you want to hear a little bit more of my thoughts and opinions on the state of the game, I'll leave some videos up in the cards for you guys to watch. Again, thank you guys for checking out the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.